Her new book is called Double Puppy Trouble. It teaches four to seven-year-olds about doubling numbers. Danica McKellar joins us now. Good morning. Good to see you. Yay. Good morning. Great to see you, too. So this book's amazing. I have it right here. Um, and <laughs> it teaches kids, young kids, about how to double. And it uses these little cute puppies. What gave you the idea to write this? I want math to be as approachable and fun for kids as possible. I've been doing it for years, like you said, with all my books. I can't think of anything more fun and approachable than puppies. So yes. teach, ready, you know, a book like this helps kids from a very young age make this really fun association with numbers, especially as the numbers get big. And what this math book does is it's not really a math book. It sneaks math in. It's kind of like putting vegetables in brownies. You know, it's, it's 101 Dalmatians, <laughs> you know, with a little math in it. So kids get to see this fun adventure where these puppies get out of control. Um, and this little girl who finds this magical stick is doubling these puppies. It gets out of control. Um, she, you know, it ultimately is a story of less is more, having gratitude. So there's a lot of emotional intelligence in it as well. Uh, but hey, I love sneaking those math concepts in there to help kids let, let go of some of this math anxiety that we're seeing more and more. Um, it's just, it's my joy to be able to present this kind of thing to kids. Well, so I don't know about my co-host, but I'm terrible at math. And part of it is because I, I was very, I was terrorized by math. And so the notion of trying to make it accessible and to make it fun for kids at an early age, because I do believe that my fear of math started when I was very, very young. Me too. Like yeah. trying to uh, conceptualize right. these, these concepts. Yeah, I'm with Vlad too, Danica. I'm with Vlad too about I don't think I'm good in math, but is it because we keep telling ourselves that we're mm. bad in math? <laughs> right. Yeah. But I really am yeah. bad in math. Let's just call it with math today. wasn't fun when we were yes. young. Exactly. It wasn't fun. Yeah. Yes. But now it That's can be. That's my mission to make it fun. I have all these books at mckellarmath.com. You know, the big slider button. So depending on your kid's age, I can tell you which book is best. I've got fun picture books like this. I've got books that teach math concepts all the way up through high school geometry. It's really my mission to empower kids to have and, and to garner and, and develop that confidence that comes from feeling smart. And, and one of the great ways to do that is to become good at math. And you can become good at math. You're not born with one math level or ability. We're not stuck there. It is absolutely yeah. possible to, yeah, to, to change, break those patterns and break those, um, the cycles where parents, so parents out there, don't tell your kids you weren't good at math. Try to avoid exactly. the topic. Oh. Introduce them right. to books like this. Spend time with your kids bonding over reading. I mean, it's such a wonderful thing anyway, and why not do it sneaking in a little math? Yeah, I think you make such a good point. You know, most of us fell in love with you, Danica, as Winnie Cooper. I love that show. Just looking at that clip brought back <laughs> memories. But where does your passion and your love of math come from? You were an actress as a young girl. Where did you make the switch? Where does it, what was it about numbers and math that you thought this is cool? You know, it was it was really in college. I mean, I've always loved a good challenge, but in college, um, I, the Wonder Years had just ended, and becoming a math major was something I wasn't expecting to do. But I was so attracted to how my brain felt and how valuable I felt for something that had nothing to do with superficiality. And you don't have to have been a child actress to struggle with identity and um, and, and mm. your value. So I knew that I could give this to other kids and teenagers as well through my books, making it fun. I'm an entertaining uh, entertainer, and I love make, making math entertaining. So that's kind of my, that's my thing. <laughs> I like to make math that's entertaining and approachable. Absolutely. As it it empowered me, and I want to empower other kids, especially girls, but all kids as well. I like that. And that is that's so important. Um, as Gail mentioned, you started Wonder Years when you were 12. Uh, what advice would you go back and give your younger self? And I know there's young kids that are starting off their TV and movies career, movie careers watching right now. So they, they are listening to this advice. Yes. Well, uh, it's advice that luckily I didn't need. And that is do something else also. Because mm -hmm. the acting business is very um, fickle, and although I am still acting today, in fact, I've got uh, I'll be doing a Christmas movie for a Great American Family, a new channel. Uh, it's a lot of fun. I, I did Domino Masters, but let me tell you something. Having my math books is such um, it's it's so wonderful for me. It's such a stable core. Also, I know I'm I'm spreading love and happiness and intelligence into the world, which is so wonderful. But if you're going to pursue acting as a child, do something else too. Something that you have a little more control over. Well, here's some simple math for everybody. You plus any project equals <laughs> success. Yeah. Danica McKellar, thank you so much for joining us. Double Puppy Trouble is on sale now. I like the title, too. Yeah, That's right. right.